today we're going to be looking at how we can easily save our PowerPoint templates. This might be a corporate template you use, it might be the template you use every day and a lot of people have the template, they open the template, they end up deleting the slides they don't want or changing text and this is all time consuming. So what you can do is you can have the template on your screen, you can use save that template and then it is available in the design menu for you to use again and again without keep going back and having to find it in your files. It's much more efficient and I don't know why Microsoft don't make it easier for people to find and I don't know why they also haven't have buried this setting so far down in the PowerPoint depths. Okay so let's um, let's jump in we're going to set this up with the template that we want to use. So I've got on screen the template that I need to use. It hasn't got any texting because generally the template is just the settings for the colors, the background, the font, everything like that. It doesn't tend to contain text. And then what I'm going to do when um, I want to save it, all I need to do is go to the top of the screen to design. That's just there. And then underneath the word design is, is this gallery. And you'll actually find it's often made up of a lot of Microsoft suggestions and you've probably never given it a second look. But what we want to do is we want to put our templates in that gallery so we can access it easily. At the end of the gallery are a couple of arrows and if you're used to Microsoft products you're probably used to this system where you click on these two arrows. So if you were to click on this one here, I'm just going to put an arrow on it there, the one with the little line and the arrow, so that one there just underneath. I'll just highlight it a bit more clear. That one there, there it is. So we're going to click there and it brings up quite a few options. We're going to ignore all the options and come right down to the bottom and choose save current theme. It's then going to ask us what we want to save this template as. So let's give it a name. So I'm going to call it um, corporate, corporate theme. Okay, give it a name that you'll recognize. Just make sure you remember that name because that's going to be really useful when we're trying to track our template back. The other thing is don't change the path here, the file path, because this is how Microsoft will reference it and how it picks up the template straight away. So leave the path as it is. Just put your file name in that you want to use. Okay, let's save that. Okay, so that's all saved, that's been put away. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to a new presentation. I'm going to use the handy shortcut key, Control and N for new. That, what would I do about that? So we've got a blank presentation, and even if you had an existing presentation, you could still do this. We go up to the word design. We look at the gallery. Now just be careful of this because PowerPoint has a habit of not putting it at the beginning. So if you look, the first Thing on the gallery is an office theme then there's another one and my one's coming in at the th in the third position so that's the whole point of just making a note mental note of the name because when I hovered over that it told me that I was picking up the right template what it also has a habit of doing is making like a mirror template for the file that's open so just be careful you've picked up the right one so there it is corporate theme just click on it and then that will activate my template. When I go to the home button, if I need to choose new slides, all the slides to do with that template will be listed there. So I can go for a two content, I can go for blank, and I've got my title slide there. Next time I need to use the template, just go back up to design, pick it from the gallery. So it's a much more efficient way, easy to find, and it just saves so much time. Um, so give it a go. I really hope you found this video useful. If you have, um, I'd love to hear how you got on. Don't forget to like and subscribe and um, so you can see when we post the next video. Thank you for watching.